Welcome to my review of Truck Driver. Uh, I'm just going to play it so you can see what it's like. First, I'm going to go through the options so you can see what you're getting. Uh, you've got language, uh, map rotation, usual stuff, uh, mirrors for your vehicle, you know, for your truck so you can see backwards, etc. You can have them inside and outside. Uh, that does come in handy. Uh, video, favors graphics, favor re re resolution, favor performance. I've not, I've not changed them, so I'm just staying on on graphics, favor graphics. Uh, audio, I've got the master volume down. I got the music off. Vehicle volume was 100, you know, everything's 100%. It's only the master that's turned down and the music that's off. Control, sensitivity, inverted steering, camera sensitivity. Uh, I always invert my camera, like on a flight sim, you know, pull back on the stick and it kind of looks up. Controller, you've got no options on this all. You can't reconfigure the controls and there are no other controller defaults, so you're stuck with that. The steering wheel, I have tried it, but it's a waste of time because... The only advantage it gives you is that you can it, it returns to center a lot faster and it's a little bit more realistic but uh, it doesn't use the clutch because i've got the dustmaster tmx pro and if you don't want that wheel at the moment it's 240 pounds but it's not worth <laughs> it's not worth buying to play this game i can assure you that much there is a cheaper version that's 174 pounds that's just got a brake and clutch uh that's probably about 200 dollars by the way and the other one will be like getting on for 300 I should imagine, $270, $300. Uh, it, it's not worth it for this game, it really isn't. Unless you play a lot of Sims, I wouldn't bother for this game. Uh, when you've got the, when you're using the steering wheel, you don't have any access to, to the view. You've just got no way of changing your view. As you can see there, you've got cruise control indicators, up and down shift, uh, your brakes, accelerate, menus, up and down, and then... Uh, control wheel which is part of the uh it, it's part of what you're doing in the game i'll show you that when we get in the game what the control wheel does it's just a it's, a it's a radial menu basically so i have played it a bit and I'm, I'm not cheating uh so i've got one save game as you can see i put two hours nine minutes into it and i've got uh seven thousand caches <laughs> it's euros so I'm just loading it now. Uh, now, in order for you to get anything out of this review, we've got to sort of have an idea what kind of a player I am. I like simulators, and I've played in the past truck games, only one, and that's Euro Truck Simulator on the PC. And I actually enjoyed it. That, that was a good game, a bit geeky. And when I played it, it was quite a long time ago, probably about 2012. Uh, I had the right spec PC to play and everything, and it all just worked fine and it was quite good fun. But it wasn't a game that I wanted to play long term. Uh, it, it's just not really my sort of a game. This this game, this is how you always start. This You, you start in your cab. You can't get out of your vehicle at all. So you can't get out and walk about. You've got your GPS. Uh, it's part of the hood at the moment. But that, that does, you can change that. Up in the top right hand corner where the money is, that's that's bed rest. That's my stamina. And when I run out of that, I don't know, I must fall asleep at the wheel or something. I'm not really sure what happens. But you can you can go places to go to sleep uh, and, and refill that bar. And apparently you can change that. So I'm just before I start playing, I'll just run through another couple of things that you've got. You do get XP, as you can see. I've got 434 XPs, uh, and I've got no active mission. The skills that you can have, which is, well, you can read it for yourself. I think I'm about to sneeze, <laughs> and I'm not sure a bit edit it out. Come on, no, it's gone off. No, it ain't. What time to get a sneeze that won't come? Uh, so I've played it a bit, uh, as you can see. I've got a few things: safe driver, skilled driver, cargo regular. That's a little bit like Euro Truck Simulator. You used to get different sort of categories, and that changed what missions you could, uh, you know, what what loads you could carry, you know, from from low to high value. Uh, 
And then you've got these things they call passives, which I don't understand at all, but it's just a way of boosting your XP and things like that. It gives you, like that, I'm getting a bonus now. Uh, I'm on level 1, 1% XP extra, and I need another 500 XP to, to take that to the next level, and then I've got a bonus for the money. There are other ones, uh, like fuel savings, wear and tear on your tyres, uh, engine wear, and it's all looking like that, you know, it could be really interesting. This, and that's your map. So, this that's the area you can drive at the moment. I'm, I'm sure they'll probably do some uh, some DLC. Thanks for that phone or whatever you want that just bonged then. But that is not a lot of that's not a lot of road network, is it? This is not looking like long distance lorry driving at all, is it? That all looks quite close to me. You can you can drive from down where the cursor is there up to I think I went up to this area I think. Oh no Blecky there. Went to there and it, it took me less than five minutes from down here. Maybe a little bit more. And bear in mind I don't actually know how to play either. Or I didn't when I did that. I do know how to play now. Anyway, you've got the you've got your map there. So that to me, that's already disappointing that you've not you know you've not got a long way to go. I've started the truck. I've stopped the truck. Now keep quiet so you can listen. It for some reason that sounds extremely muffled. Uh, can you hear it? It's just really quiet. It's a bit like being in a Bentley or Rolls Royce. I'm just driving it around so you can see. Uh, and if you're expecting a simulation, uh, forget it. It's the driving model is strictly. It's just easy. And that's that's this game that sums this game up. It's oversimplified. Uh, and dumbed down and I'll just show you what happens when you take a job you don't get like a notice board where you can choose your own jobs this is how it works it... I've got my little little this is the guy Charlie Dover is your first contact so I'll just select this and then you get this stupid text tennis thing going on you and me kid we're really going places now says he now I, I can't do anything I'm just sitting here watching this and it even says, you know, he's typing. Like now it says, you're me listening. Now he's typing the finest and freshest bluefin tune around, he's saying. You know, this is text. This is just, how boring is this? I can't do anything while he's doing this. I'm just sitting here having to read this rubbish. Now I've got to attach the trailer and you think, ooh, that's going to be challenging. Look, I can look around. You can see it. Can you see I've got my mirrors uh, all the time though, so I don't have to always look over there to check my mirror. You know, because that is you don't need to do that when you're turning. So let's see where me my load is. See, there's like a fish, a fish on the GPS down in the bottom right-hand corner there. Oh, and you could, it only says kilometers. I've I've not found a way of changing uh, to miles an hour. Or dollars or pounds it's just euros and kilometers I've got a fuel gauge and it tells you what gear you're in but uh, now where's the trailer oh I'm gonna map to follow the GPS oh it's there it's right there I just drove past it because I'm, I'm concentrating on talking uh, it, listen to horn <laughs> and it, anyway it's just it's just right right and left triggers right triggers accelerate left trigger is is stop and and then it makes you go in reverse so at the moment because i haven't got a manual control tr a manual gear truck which apparently you can get it just it's just extremely dumbed down uh now you get different views the, the graphics are, they're okay and you get times a day I mean, if you look carefully, you can see moons moving there. So I can put my lights on and things like that. I'll just show you the radial menu. 
which is uh, oh, manual gear not available so there's your radio menu I can put my, my lights on turn the ignition on and off turn the cruise control warning lights indicators but the the state the, the game is so dumbed down you don't you don't need your indicators you just don't need them uh, and there's you see I'm just reversing out of this trailer connect the trailer and it's that simple right so I'm now I'm now good to just drive and I will get now when I leave the yard here I'll get a GPS I'll get a GPS route or you can just see it there the white route with the uh, blue arrows uh, it's not giving me any info on it yet because I'm not on the road the graphic the, what, the, this camera movement's a little bit odd in, at times and you've only got that option that option it's just moved out a little bit and then you've got the top down view that, that'll help you reversing onto your trailers or reversing your trailer into place now this this is what, what you're seeing here is all you get in the game this is this is basically your lot this is the truck driving and that's what this game's all about isn't it now when you're using the controller the the steering is very slow to center back very very slow to center back anyway uh it's just not it's just it's just totally arcade and every now and then you get just li little graphics glitches or just like a little the, the engine the you know the uh the game engine seems to stall a little bit and it's all a little bit woolly is the steering on the on the, on the center bit e even I'm, I'm quite good at, at simulators and i'm wandering from side to side quite a bit even with inside view and if you got the outside view uh, it's even worse but i'll just follow this gps uh you can see it's like a twilight and everyone's got their headlights on but a lot of the times you don't see the headlights on the cars until they're extremely close they just look like they're darkened out and then they, uh, they they come on so i turn right at this junction there's nothing coming there never is and if they do if they do come they always turn left so you can just pull out basically I mean, the graphics are serviceable i would say they're just they're okay for the game aren't they you, you can see quite a long way but there's no there's no fantastic details it doesn't look ultra realistic uh it's just it's just okay isn't it i mean you know this is 2019 isn't it and we're getting a new xbox next year uh i don't even i don't know if this is actually even 4k no, and I actually don't care whether it's 4K or not. The, the graphics don't make the game, uh, but the, but the, it can enhance a game, can't it? So I'm going left at this next junction. I still haven't had to do anything, uh, and all that you can do, you can run into things uh, and damage your truck, but it doesn't seem to affect the truck at all. It just costs you a bit of money. Uh, you can wear your tyres out and that's, that reduces your stopping distance or lengthens your stopping distance I should say and and you can <laughs> put fuel in it or you can buy new trucks with your money and paint them different colours now in your truck and in bus driver simulator you, you kind of build your own business empire in them games your trick simulator was, was very good at that you could get a yard and then you could, I think I'm thinking about a right game you could get another yard and expand your business and hire other drivers and you can do that in that bus simulator that's come out and I will do a review on that as well but it, it deserves a bit more time than this one uh, because this is just dumbed down I, I, I doubt even a young kid would think this were that much fun but you never know. You see, it's giving me. I've, it's telling me I've got low stamina. I'm in danger of falling asleep. Uh, I could go somewhere and go to sleep, but I just kind of. I'll look, actually, I'll look at map. Let's see if I'm anywhere near anywhere. Oh yeah, there's a rest stop. There's a rest stop right there. So my next right and there's a there's a rest stop i'll do that and just show you how that works because even that's dumbed down as well that's all i can say about this game dumbed down and 
and pretty boring. When I finish this review, I don't think I'll play this again, and it was a full price thirty-four uh, ninety-nine pounds, probably about forty dollars. Oh, it could be it could be thirty-five dollars. You know, I'm not really sure. I'm not not I've no idea what it is in euros. And I've seen some of these AI cars like this one. I don't know if you can see. You'd have to be looking on a TV, not a phone. But they, they, there's so much motion blur. You could. It, it's just leaving a strange, you know, like the shape of the car behind it. It's just weird. And again, you know, it's, graphically, it's just, it's not very good. You can move your head about. And this is what you can, if you're using the steering wheel, you can't do this. You can't move your head about. And I can't see any way on the steering wheel to, uh, to change your view. Oh, so here we go. This is this is the rest stop now. Do you want to sleep for four hours to restore your stamina? Yeah. Oh look, it's it's daylight. Start my engine. Get on with it. It's a little bit misty in it. Oh, I just went over curb there. You don't get punished for that. You don't get punished for not indicating. The, the speed cameras and and traffic light cameras and you get fined for going too fast but I haven't seen a speed camera yet I've just picked up a fine <laughs> but I didn't actually see the speed camera that's maybe because I'm not sure what I'm looking for if you know what I mean uh, but as you can see look at the look at that bridge the graphics on it they were horrible then weren't they all kind of interference lines it, this this reminds me of, of that Rail Farm game that Sadesco put out a couple of years ago. And I did do a review on Rail Farm and I gave it a pretty good slagging off because it was pathetic. And it was buggy as well. I, I haven't really found any obvious bugs in this. If there is, I haven't really come across them. But all I can say is that you are literally seeing about everything this game's got to offer here. Uh, I'm on a motorway now. Or it's probably an autobahn, isn't it? You know, it's probably Germany, this, isn't it? This is my longest drive so far. Uh, and and the other thing, it, it it's not keeping any financial records. It's not keeping any other stats. It's not telling me how many miles I've done. You know, what trucks I've driven, how long I've been driving. Uh, you literally just have that stupid, like, text tennis mission briefing. And I, I am struggling to, to, to get down these roads as well because the steering's so woolly. It just... It's all over the place. I'm only steering it a bit, but... While I'm holding the, the controller stick, it just keeps turning it more and more, so it's just it's just not good. All of, it, It's just really boring. And really dumbed down. I mean, you can see it yourself here. Why would you want to to spend all this time doing what I'm doing? And look at look at the shimmering of the uh, graphics there on that bridge, and the interference patterns. Look at it, it's absolutely dreadful. I mean, they're moving smoothly enough. It's just visually horrible. And that AI car is just going to pile it in front of me. Like I said, sometimes they'll just disappear. And what you won't be able to pick up on this on this video is is that the you know the motion blur. I'll see if I can show it a little bit actually on this truck. You can see it a little bit on the wheels there. Can you see the ghosting around the the wheels and the wheel arches? Oops. <laughs> Yeah. The, the only other things that you have to do in this game is buy other trucks after you've unlocked them. Oh, I've reached I've right I've reached level two for my safe driver skill. It unlocked quite a few achievements quite early on as well, so I know people like that kind of thing. But I, I don't play games to get achievements. I play I play the games to actually enjoy the games. 
and uh, I, I honestly can't say that I've enjoyed this game even slightly it's just boring really really boring and, and once I've done this review I won't be playing it again there's no, you see, to, to play it, you need you need a long term, need a long term uh, goal, really, don't you? And without any, you, you can't even make up long term goal. Like, oh, I'll do a thousand, I'll do a thousand miles or or a thousand kilometers or whatever. You know, you can't even set yourself that sort of goal because you've no idea how far you're driving. There isn't even an odometer on the truck. There's nothing. There's nothing that keeps that I've. There's nothing that I've found so far that keeps any record of what you're doing. Which for this sort, it's supposed to be. I don't know. It, it, it's kind of a business simulator, isn't it? If, if you think about it, but there isn't there isn't a business simulator. You just you just basically a dog's body that runs around collecting things. Look, there you go. He's typing now. It's just. It usually tells you where to put the cargo as well. What's he telling me? I, I haven't even dropped this cargo off yet. I need to know where to drop this. Here's your new route. Well, what? So I've driven here for for what reason, Charlie? Find the new drop-off point. It, yeah, it's just. Uh, this is basically the game just messing you about, isn't it? I mean, how stupid. But I mean, I'm sure truck drivers do this. Oh yeah, I'll drive it to that yard. No, no, we've, we we don't want it there. We want it somewhere else now. Oh, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll do that then. I'll just do that. Yeah. Never mind about my driver's hours and, and my tachometer, my tachograph rather. Yeah, that don't matter. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can just drive this truck indefinitely, can't I? Anyway, like I said, total dumbed down, <laughs> total dumbed down rubbish, really. There, yeah, I've put, I've, I've said what I think. Find the new drop off point. See, why should I have to find it? Do you think truck drivers turn up and then they have to hunt round for where they, where, they, where they want the car go? I don't think so. <sighs> Are we. T are we saying that there's another one that look I'm, I'm listening is typing again I mean that there's some inane rubbish going on there with that texting and I'm listening to him right parking a trailer now now it's come up somewhere but I can't see it oh yeah it's right down there you'll be you'll be struggling to see that even on the tablet but I've got a big screen so I can see it now this is you you can automatically park which I haven't tried which I'm not gonna do I'll just show you what you've got to do and this is really the uh, the extent of the skill that you need and even this is dumbed down um, it's telling me I'm 100% there look at the box Now, now I can't let go. I can't do anything now because the, when I'm in the text conversation, even though it says press Y to undo the trailer, I notice how much my money's gone up, which isn't a lot. Missions complete. Ah, uh, yeah, that that was that was great fun. Absolutely brilliant fun. That's thirty-four pounds. Thirty-five pounds. That that's totally well spent. Why what the trailer disengage? Oh, it has. It was like the trailer didn't disengage, but it obviously has. You are driving. It's telling me because I'm pressing the button. You see to change gear. Oh, what what is? It's the change gear button I'm pressing actually by accident, and it's just telling me I've got to have a manual truck. So let me just see if I can if 
I can just quickly show you the, all, all the other stuff that you've got. You can save your game and your options, resume, quit to main menu. So I'm, I'm going to go to garage. Are you sure you want to go to the nearest garage? Question mark. Missions in progress will be cancelled. No, I'm going to go. So you're loading into a garage. Like I said, uh, I like I like a simulation, and it doesn't have to be too serious simulation. But there's got to be some, you know, there's got to be some some kind of realism in the driving, or, or fun in the driving, and and this has got neither of them things. It's not fun, and it's not realistic. Uh, it, it's just nothing. You don't feel like you're driving a truck. It doesn't sound like a truck. Uh, it doesn't feel like a truck. So. I can just customise this truck now, uh, repair it, look so, replace me tyres, 250 uh, euros, repair me bodywork, 41 euros, repair me engine, which is like a service isn't it, so I, c I could fit a new engine, I could fit two new engines but they're locked, uh, bumpers, you know look you can see what you can fit, this does not it don't float my boat but it might some people's and if it does it does it's just you know fog lights uh, look at front you see different fog lights and stuff visors mirrors top wind deflectors side skirts mud guards you can change your colors as well uh let me see if I can find out how to do that. Oh, there we are. Colours are there. I don't know why I can only do that bit of truck green, but I can. And I've already just unlocked that. So there, that, that's my customisation. Long distance front loop. Oh, I haven't even kept it, has it? <laughs> Long distance cabin. Oh, there you go. Yeah, basically, uh, as you can probably tell, I don't like this game. It's, it's a, an extremely poor effort. It's basically minimum effort. All I can say about it is I haven't really come across any bugs. And it isn't... Uh, it isn't difficult to play. <laughs> and, and that's it. It's oversimplified. Uh, dumbed down rubbish that looks looks okay uh, and and that's all I can say about it and I'm and I wish I really really wish I could have said oh yeah man this game it's so deep and and enthralling it's like it's like being a real truck driver you know so you can go out and yeah get yourself a steering wheel it's worth it's worth 200 quid yeah just get it mate you'll you won't regret it if you've got the money just get it but it's i'm not going to say that because it's it's crap i just wish i could say that and and uh, i think i'll just make sure i've covered everything yeah that's um oh, by the way that sent me back to the garage so now to go to go to get a mission I've got to go back to the map uh, and go either to this guy or, or someone over here and get a different kind of mission. So, and now I, I've just I've just GPS that, but it's not showing the route, is it? <laughs> Which is, I don't know. There's something not right there. Now it's showing the route. Now I've left the yard. Uh, and I'm sure that you've had enough of watching this and I've had enough of playing it so I gather you've I don't like I, you know I hope you gather I don't like this game and I don't think you should waste your money on it even even a even at a budget price I won't I won't bother with this because there's just not enough gameplay not not by not by my uh, estimation you may think differently you've seen how it plays but basically what you've seen is the whole of the game. Um, thanks for watching.